Hey guys, I want to talk to you about getting your chest out while you rotate to get layback. We have a lot of guys that tell us they have trouble getting layback. Well, here's the thing. We got to get our chest out. It's one of the fundamental attractors of movement in, in rotation. When we go to rotate, we want our thoracic spine to extend. Those are the vertebrae that have ribs attached to them, not your lower back, but your upper back. When you get your chest out when you're trying to rotate, it serves a couple of really important functions. First of all, you get your chest out, it sends the shoulder blade down toward the back pocket, medially and inferiorly, and that opens up the face of the glenoid so you can keep the head of the humerus seated cleanly in the socket so that at the given moment in time, your shoulder muscles can co-contract, the rotator cuff can pull the head of the humerus in the socket and give us stability in internal rotation, okay? If we're in a big inverted W like this, or our abdominals are in a bad place, the problem is that we can't open the face of the of the glenoid up to the humerus and so we have to hurry and we have these timing issues and I call it having the kids in the car and the seat belt on. If you don't, your body's either not going to let you take off or you're going to get hurt and so we have to clean up that timing by getting our chest out, opening up the face of the, of the glenoid to accept the humerus and it also serves the purpose of charging our abdominals to the optimal length so they can help transfer energy from the lower half to the upper half. So as we rotate, we got to get our chest out, not our lumbar spine but our chest out to help facilitate shoulder internal rotation and to keep the abdominals at the right length.